Thanks, Ren. If you ever need another guitar player, I'll be that. Hi, everyone. Feeling fine after all this time, you got it right. I know you tried. No, everyone's seen you being a part time girl. Always been a big to fight with the morning light. Everyone's seen you being a part time girl. You jump, you mostly fall, and it's alright trying what you've done before. Just a place that you've already been Feeling fine after all this time You got it right, I know you try it Now everyone's seen you being a part-time girl And you're breathing in like you've always been And you big to fight with the morning light Everyone's seen you being a part-time girl Imagine rapturous applause. I should have brought like a sample to play. I'm acting like I don't have one of those.
mission Only they listen I take no life And I don't feel right We don't walk with regret It's all already been said I take no life And we're just in time You know this Cause you're always on my mind Alright Do you think we'll be alright? Do you think we'll be alright? Do you think we'll be alright? High speed thoughts you're thinking We still sleep plugged in High tech low life I don't feel right We don't seem to notice Now it's hard to focus I take no life And we're just in time You know this Cause you're always on my mind And you want it Do you think we'll be alright? Do you think we'll be alright? I'm going to play uh, my current single. It came out a couple of weeks ago. It's called Still Hearts. You try not to notice To kill with kindness Still hearts define us Both feet are there to guide us Go ooh, 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 ooh. Her eyes when they say yes, both arms bending backwards, still hearts they can still miss. Hearts that keep us in this go ooh, 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 ooh. When the tightest grips from the loosest lips Say I can't resist, no I can't resist So I stay up late and Count to ten, still hearts beat once and they'll beat again Broken hearts are such a mess Feeling once and you know the rest Shouts the loudest Both lips just say you like to go
rips from the loosest lips Say I can't resist, no I can't resist So stay up late and count to ten Still hearts beat once and they'll beat again So we've had our fun, we've had our fights Your breath's so warm on the coldest night And you sing out loud and you sing out a tune Cause your brain's the mess and my heart's the fool everyone hope everyone's doing okay on this I'm assuming Thursday Thursday yeah I think we're about there Niall just a great opportunity to just interrupt you in your flow yeah. so I'll apologize for that That's now all right. um, Thank you again from everybody at United We Stream for doing Pleasure. this and, and coming down. Um, we're asking everybody uh, what's it like playing to an empty room or just us? <laughs> It's not the first time I've played to an empty room, <laughs> don't worry. We've all got to start somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be the last either. Um, no, I mean, it's, you know, it's strange. It's strange, it's a, but it's, I'd rather people be safe, you know. Absolutely. So, I can, my ego can take a blow. <laughs> What um, we were talking about the way sort of certain musicians vibe off the you know the crowd and all this sort of thing and yeah. that that use of your your inner strengths and stuff to vibe off yourself and stuff. How are you, how are you managing with that at the moment? I mean, it's you just have to. Be, I think you just have to be okay with um, with the reason you make music in the first place, which is pretty much. I mean, I think a lot of people it's just you make it for yourself because you want to make it. So. Um, that hasn't changed, you know, the audience, people, uh, you know, focusing on what they've got to do to get through their day, you know, in a, in a crazy thing that most people have never had to deal with before. I think for music, you just, I still do it for the same reason, because it's like, I want to write songs that I like, you know. I am actually smiling underneath this mask, and so you can't see it, but I, I'm agreeing with you with that. But that's the other thing, that's the good thing, though. So if you're buzzing off the stuff that you make yourself, how does it feel when you see somebody connecting to that same feeling? It's amazing. It's, it's why it's like, I you know, consider myself very lucky that I get to do this for a job. Um, you know, um, and long may it continue. Long may it continue. Those yeah. songs were beautiful. Tell us a little bit about those first three songs, the inspiration, the story behind them a little bit. Um, so I played um, those three. Uh, I did a mix of the last two singles that we've just had out. And then uh, one song that uh, for anyone that uh, knows my music or sees us play live, it's one that I just will never, I'll never not play because I, it's old for me. I think I wrote it when I was like, 16 something like that wow and um it's it's never not you know it, it it really it's never boring for me to play on stage i'm never sick of it because it's it feels amazing when you have written a song that people it means a lot to people that people really enjoy and i think we all like it for the same reason so that to me is like i'm in a room full of like-minded people so and that's always really, really nice to feel, you know. So, and it's connected to those people that we were talking about before, and just how important is the United We Stream at the moment, connecting you to those audiences? What, we, we talk a lot, we talked to Ren a little bit before about this emptiness at the moment in those venues. A lot of venues are going to be struggling now as a result of not being able to, and how important is it for you now to connect to audiences to tell them, oh, we don't know how it's going to be, but why is it important for them to go out when they can? I mean, when we can go out again, it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> you know, I, and I think it's key to remember, this is your opportunity to come out when it's safe and shape the environment that you wanna see now. So Manchester, 
is an amazing place. It's an amazing city, and I've been lucky enough to, tr to tour around the world, and wherever there are music fans, people know Manchester. And that is amazing, and people love Mancunians, and it's our currency, it's our cultural currency. And I want to live in a city and be from a city that has so many different kinds of small venues. And we know if the venues are there, people will go. It's up to the government, it's up to the council to protect these because this is, this is the most important thing in Manchester. Do we not shout about Manchester enough when it comes to global music and the, our influence on oh, the man, world stage? Oh man, it's amazing. Mancunians are the worst for it. I, can't, I don't know why and, or how people can put up with Mancunians telling other people Manchester's really great. <laughs> we'll talk about your heritage a little bit later on. No worries. Because so many questions and things like that. But yeah. I'm going to let you carry on. When you're ready to come back to us, we'll have another chat. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play uh, another old one because, you know, I get to dictate what I do. Careful 
always try to look both ways But if it's my time Well then it's my time Well then I wanna see all my friends singing Clap along and those bells are ringing And all the things you hope When you were at the end of your road And I wanna hear all my favorite songs so I can sing along And all the things you hope When you were at the end of your road Imagine a guitar solo planets to pick from and I'm glad I chose this one filled with all the things I love if there's if there's an above and I want to hear all my friends singing clap along to those bells are ringing and all the things you hope when you were at the end of your road and I want to hear all Songs playing loud so I can sing along, and all the things you hope when you were. Thanks, everyone. It's just on you. That's it. Face. That was it. There's no no other things. But that was that was fantastic. I really love that one. Thanks. I'm gonna have to go and uh, get that downloaded as soon as possible. I mean, yeah, I've got to get it out. <laughs> I need to get it recorded. Hurry up. <laughs> I'll get I'll get this. Uh, I'll watch this back. So, um, so let's talk about the genetics. Let's talk about uh, dad and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry for asking. Famous guitar player. Yeah. Sorry for asking. Oh, um, yeah. Famous guitar player Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about. Growing up like that and having that inspiration around, tell us about your dad. Tell us a little bit about the influence of all that. It'd be really nice to hear. Yeah, so uh, my dad's Johnny Marr. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> Not Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> no, but, um, uh, so, um, I mean, you know, it's growing up, it was um, just around serious musicians. And it was um, learning how to listen to music. Like, you know, you could play anything in the house but you had to defend your, your decision, <laughs> you know? And that's like, it, we're definitely not, um, you know, music Nazis. If it's a pop tune and it's, it's a good pop tune, we'll, we'll play it, you know? And um, it was that learning to engage with music at, from being really little that it, I think is the most important thing. And, and also being around a lot of adults, a lot of artists with a real work ethic, you know? How quickly did you suddenly realize that, that you were picking up on that musical like, knowledge, if you will? You know, how quickly did you become that? Actually, I can do this too. And um, I think it was just, it's just always been there. You know, I probably realized I was a little more intense about it than my friends, um, you know, like when I was young. Um, but I think it's, it's just, it's the only thing I've ever thought of doing. You know, and that's because I saw, in, by and large, that was the people that were around, that's what they all did. So I, I for me, it wasn't, being a musician wasn't an alien obstacle to overcome mentally, which I think a lot of people, you know, if you, you know, you don't come from a musical family, you have to find, you have to find these records, you have to find, you know, uh, your outlet. But for me, it was, um, you know, it, it was, I'd seen people do it, so it made sense, you know. So tell us a little bit about those pop songs that you like so much. <laughs> I'm only joking. Just tell, some, of the, some of the songs, give us some, because well, especially when we talk about Manchester music as well, if there's anything in there that you could sort of share with us that you really draw from. 
I mean, uh, Manchester music's a tough one because I think for you, I think when you grow up here, you look to everything else, you know. Um, and I, um, so I was really into uh, American bands, and I was really, really into American music because uh, for me, um, I, I don't drink, um, I never have, and. I, I'm not like a shouty dude, even though I know today I'm doing an acoustic show, you know, but we, normally it's a band, you know, and, but for me, I always liked Ameri uh, these American bands like Elliot Smith, because I'd suddenly, I'd see someone that I really looked up to as a kid and who wasn't shouting, who wasn't being, um, it, who sang like I thought I, I sang, because I just like pretty songs. So I like pretty melodies. So it was, for me, it was like Elliot Smith, Broken Social Scene. And then when I got a little older, it was American bands that were like super guitar-y um, and fast and loud, you know. And, and then you go through that. And so I've, having that mix is really important. But then it wasn't until when I was older and when I left Manchester, I lived uh, in the States um, for a while. And then coming back to do this album that I've been playing a few songs from, I came back and was really like, oh, Manchester's amazing. It's an amazing little place, you know. And then I really felt like I was like, oh, this is, this is home. And I've just, I just thought I put home somewhere else, but it's not, you know. Tell us a little bit, I mean, about the Manchester venues. Let's just have a look, quick look at the venues. You must have, you know, grown I up. I have a massive tattoo of night and day. And I don't just mean like, <laughs> it doesn't just say night and day. It's the whole building. Like, it's, it's big. I mean, you know. I'm not going to ask you to get it out. Uh, it'd be too, it, it, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, there is a watershed. One day. Too. Yeah, one, one day. day. But um, no, so Night and Day is really important. It's an institution that's been in Manchester. And you have, um, when you have a venue like that, you realise how important spaces like that are. So when I was a kid, you needed people to go, this kid is too young for people to pay attention to but he wants to be a musician and he's serious enough. And I was bugging venues like Night and Day, like Ruby Lounge, Roadhouse, when it was still open. You know, these, so those two, the three venues that I started at when I was a real young kid, when I had to wait outside the gig because I wasn't old enough to go in and then they'd pull you in, um, you know, and it's people like Jay Taylor who, Manchester is full of people like that and everywhere's full of people like that. And those venues, uh, I wouldn't still be doing it if I didn't have adults who were in the position of booking ba bands to give you a little push, even if no one comes to it. And that's why those venues need to exist because I wasn't pulling people in. I was just learning how to be a musician and I was feeling like a musician. And that's the thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is really important because if you break that link in the chain, you you won't have people deciding they're going to be a musician, you know. And those venues have been there for you. If you think of when you're on a night out, you will ha your fond memories of falling in love, like getting heartbroken, being absolutely off your face, <laughs> you know. Those memories that you that are important to you, those buildings and those people were there for you, and. This is when we come out of it, everyone's got to be there for them, you know, on the other side. Because we, if we lose them, then I don't know what we're going to do. And on that point, I'm going to shut up and let you get on with the music. Yeah, this that one. was fantastic. Thank you. Uh, this is one of the songs I actually wrote while we were locked down. Um, so if I get it wrong, it's because I've not played it that many times. You got all dressed up for nothing But the moon and the sky still loved you Just to dance, perform for one With your answer just because Each word you said came to me like a breeze Don't fret I'll be the last one standing there And I can hold your hand if you 
warning I can hold your head above water Felt the tree with paper cuts It's not over until it's done Every glance you made How it brought me to my knees Don't fret I'll be the last one standing there Every fall you've ever seen Don't fret I'll be the last one standing there Now I know one day it's coming And I know you might not want it But my answer's just a hunch it's not over until it's done Every hair on your head I remember everyone Don't fret I'll be the last one standing there And every day we had I remember everyone don't fret, I'll be the last one standing there. I'll be the last one standing there. I'll be the last one standing there. Hey, thanks. That one is obviously for everyone. That goes out to everyone. <laughs> you can chat. I've just got a tune for a minute, so I, I can fill some space. It's fantastic. I really love that. Thanks. Really that, nice. I say that one I wrote uh, just like a week and a half ago while we were in lockdown. So, wow. you know, it's you got to imagine trumpets and other instruments that are too loud to play in the park. Well, I don't know. I, I think that was that came across very powerful, my friend. That was really nice. I think, yeah, there's other things in there. It was great, but yeah, fantastic, really good. Um, any other venues that you can remember? I mean, I turned 16 on stage at Deaf Institute. Wow, well, that's great. <laughs> which is illegal. But we won't tell anybody that. But there's a yeah. lot of that kind of thing happens in Manchester, doesn't it? That's probably why Manchester it's, is so... No, I mean, I know I've been joking. Like, I know I've been joking. And, you know, because, to be honest, I'm, I'm having a good time. Um, and it's, it's, it's so important we still have a city that we're really proud of when we come out of this. And I want us to come out of it safely. You know, I'm, I, I'm in a very lucky position that... My work is, you know, I'm still, I can still make music, you know, and like, sorry, I'm just concentrating. I'm sorry, I'm just, um, it really annoyed to try and do an interview. No, that's all right. Sorry. No, it's, um, and it's just, it, like, you have, you've got venues of all sizes and so many cities don't have that stepping stone. You know, upstairs in, um, in Gulliver's is one of my favorite venues of all time. You know, and Academy too. I've seen some yep. of my favorite gigs I've ever, you know, real like gigs that when you're a little kid are the most important thing you've seen. You know, I've, those places, they need to be there for when we, for when we come back. I remember you going know. to the Eagle in Salford, you go down to- White Hotel. You know, just you incredible, know. isn't it? You know, re really, really. I mean, I think this is the thing about Manchester. I mean, I love this place, Mancunians, 
do it really well. When there's a, a state of adversity to stand up to, uh, Manchester has always come together to sort that out. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, think we're, you know, we're good people. We're very we're good, good. We're good people. And I mean, I just heard you when you were asking Ren before, um, when you were saying you've got to, people have got to remember, especially in a town like Manchester, it's the people that serve your drinks. It's the people that wash the pots. It's the people that make your food, you know, in the bars. And remember, all up and down the country, music fans, a lot of the bands that, that people like, those bands are dudes and ladies that do those jobs. So a lot of the bands that you like, suddenly that people are, not only are they not able to gig, but they can't work in bars, and that's how, that's how you do it, you know. So it's, people have really, I don't know the solution, you know, I'm not here mm -hmm. with a solution, but I think people have to remember that you, they have to decide they're gonna be patrons of the arts for a bit, you know, and, and take it as a real, as a, you know, step up. I mean, when I go and see my friends play in places like the castle, you know, and people that have come over from America, my friends are on tour and they're playing to, you know, they're playing in soup kitchen to not many people on a Monday night. And the pe I look around and the other people that are there watching those gigs and the people that come and see me in towns that I've never played before and I'm looking at every single one of these people and it's so much easier to go to a big gig. And they're the people that don't need it as much. And it's, it's so much easier to do that. And the people that go and see bands that they've never heard a record of or that they might be terrible in a venue that they really like, a small place, absolute heroes. It's amazing. Because it, English people, are, we're socially awkward. You know, it's weird to, to stand in an empty room and watch someone give it loads. It's weird, you know, and I know it can be uncomfortable, but I look, every time I see that, I'm like, you people are heroes. So I feel reluctant to ask them to do more, <laughs> but everyone's gonna have to do more, you know. Absolutely, over to you, my right, friend. Right, so I, I, this is gonna be my last one, if that's okay, all right. Okay, I will shut up and you can <laughs> play us out, my friend. This is another new one. Don't you think if I could 
Thanks, everyone.